perspective is it's a, basically a double-edged sword of density and poverty. No one is immune to COVID-19. Its ability to spread in a specific area, however, has shown to vary. As you're seeing most certainly with COVID, a tale of two cities and a tale of two regions. Dr. Keith Davidge specializes in urban development. He's studied the newly released zip code data. Seeing a lot of inability to access health care, poor existing health conditions, and density. Greensboro, High Point, and Lexington with the highest number of cases in a single zip code. Lexington has 68 cases and seven deaths, most recorded at a nursing home. One or two nursing home hotspots can really skew that zip code data. In Greensboro, most cases are in impoverished neighborhoods. When you look at High Point, you see a different trend. In the suburbs, has probably more cases than you might expect. Zip code 27265 has 49 cases and four deaths. The equivalent area in Greensboro would be Northwest Greensboro. We don't have that level of cases. It's only two cases ahead of those who live in 27260 neighborhood. Oh man, I don't want to hear that, you know. Floyd Smith lives within the 27260 zip code and could not believe his neighborhood had so many positive cases. More all the people live in this area. Young citizen, low, you know. It'd be real fast to get it, you know. Proximity matters. And in these dense urban areas, you're seeing real big spikes. Dr. Davidge explained close proximity and the ability to travel has led to an increase of cases in suburban High Point. He also points to job placement for contributing to poverty areas. You are a low income individual. There's a tendency that you're in jobs that require proximity.